in example two, we have a 32 degree angle. The side opposite is equal to 80. And we want to know how long the hypotenuse is. We fill in our saw formula like this. Sine of 32 degrees is equal to 80 over x. What is the sine of 32 degrees? The sine of 32 degrees is equal to 0 0.5299. So we replace sine of 32 degrees by 0 0.5299. Now we encounter something that we don't see very often in math before we get to trigonometry. Our variable is in the denominator. The quick, easy way to deal with this is what we call doing the trade. We trade positions between the x and the 0 0.5299. Now we just have a division to do. 80 divided by the sine of 32 degrees is equal to 150.9664. X is therefore equal to 150.9664. And we have our answer. In example 3, we know that the side opposite to the angle is 9. And we know the hypotenuse is 13, but we want to know the measure of the angle. We fill in our saw formula like this. Sine of theta equals opposite, which is 9, over hypotenuse, which is 13. We have to simplify this part now. 9 divided by 13 is equal to 0 0.6923. Since 9 divided by 13 is equal to 0 0.6923, we replace it with that number in our equation. What do we do to find angle theta when we know its value? With the sine value of our angle already in the calculator, if we press shift sine, we find out that our angle is equal to 43.8131 degrees. Therefore, our angle theta is equal to 43.8131 degrees. Don't forget the degrees, that is your unit of measure. Now it's time to get some practice. Take one of these SOH exercise sheets. You will find that example one is a very good model to help you do question one, A, B, and C. Example two is a model for question two A, two B, two C, and example three is a good model for question three A, three B, three C. Question four presents one of each type of example in random order. 